ROG 9.1 gives you full control over the polar graph axes, both angular and radial. This video will show you how to modify the display orientation and scale of the polar angular axes, configure and customize polar radial axes, and how to crop a polar chart to emphasize the important parts of it. A polar plot has two types of axes, angular and radial. The angular axis is a circular one that lies at the edges of the central plot. The radial axis has two types. The first one is the outer axis. This is also referred to as the frame, and each one can be shifted perpendicularly in any direction. By default, when a polar plot is first created, only the upper and lower left axes appear. But here we have enabled all eight axes. The second type of radial axis is the inner radial axis that appears inside the polar plot. You can customize and create as many axes as desired. Let's first explore how to set the orientation of an angular axis. First, we will create a polar plot. Highlight the data, and under Plot, open the Specialized submenu. There are two options to create a polar plot. Let's select the first one. Double-click the axis of the polar plot to open up the axis dialog. Select the main node for the angular axis. To set which angle the axis starts at, you can select one of the axis start dropdowns from this dropdown or type in your own value. Here, we set the axis to start at 30. Specify the direction as clockwise. This will change the axis orientation. Next, we will explore how to set the range of the angular axis that is displayed. Double click to open the axis dialog again. The unit definition section sets the range of the axis while the from and to value set how much of the axis is displayed. Here, we set the circle units as 360, but display only till 180 degrees. Let's minimize this graph and change the start and from values to minus 60 and 60 for this graph. Here, minus 60 refers to the angular value at 300. Set the values and click OK to apply the settings. Let's explore how to display a polar ring. Double click to open the axis dialog. Let's set the scale of the radial axis. Under the radial axis node, open the scale page and set the from and to as 15 and 30. Select apply to view the changes. Next, we will add an inner angular axis. On the main angular axis node, enable the inner axis checkbox. Since the tick labels and lines and ticks nodes fall under the main angular axis node, enabling the inner axis here turns all of them on. Let's customize the inner axis. On the tick labels page, disable the tick labels for the inner axis, and under the tick labels node on the inner page, set the major and minor ticks to in. Click apply to view the changes. We have now added an inner polar ring. Next, we will see how to set the radial axes corresponding to the angular axis major ticks. Open up the axis dialog. On the radial axis main node, Set the number of axes drop down to major ticks. This will set a radial axis wherever there is a major tick on the angular axis. We want to remove the zeros at the center, so on the special ticks page, hide the first tick on the axis. We have now added a radial axis wherever there is a major axis angular tick. Next, we will change the configuration of the radial axis. We are going to add three new axes, two inner radial axes and one outer radial axis. Double click to open the axis dialog and on the radial axis page, click on the new configuration button to open the radial axis configuration dialog box. In this dialog box, you can set the number and positioning of the inner axis, referred to here as the axis inside polar and the outer axis, referred to here as the axis outside polar. You can specify which angle the radial axis should be on here. Alternatively, you can use the clock radio button to use a clock face to specify where the axis should be. The advantage here is the clock does not rely on units such as radians and degrees the way the angle option does. So changing the units of the polar plot won't affect the positioning of the radial axis. Use the drop-down to specify that you want to customize your own radial axis settings, and in this box, set the radial axis at 60 and minus 60. Next, let's set the outer axis. Choose to set an upper right axis and click OK. Apply to see the changes. 
In the left panel, you can see that there are two inner axes. That's what I axis 1 and 2 are, and one outer axis, O axis 1. Since it is difficult to read the tick labels of inner axis 1, we are going to change the flow direction for a clearer view of the tick labels. You can expand each radial axis to customize it further. You can also right click on a radial axis tree node to add another radial axis or use the duplicate, delete, or select others options. Here we're going to add another axis which by default will be an inner axis. To change the type of the new axis to outer axis, set this drop down as frame border. Now we set the position at left lower and click apply. The axis is too far away from the plot. To shift it closer, check the perpendicular shift box and set it at negative 70% of the radius. Negative numbers will move it to the right and positive to the left. We also change where the tick labels are by changing the floor direction. Let's disable the title of the third axis to remove the word radius and we have now completed customizing this graph. Next, we're going to explore how to crop a polar plot to emphasize a certain part of it. We want to crop this polar plot so that only this rectangular highlighted part shows. Open the axis dialog once again. The crop option is on the miscellaneous page. Check the enable box. We can set how much of the plot will be cropped down here. The units are percentage of page, but there are other options in the drop down. This comprises the page. 0% is up here and 100% is down here. So if we set the left at 30, that means we are setting the left side of the crop box at 30% of the page from the left. The width is set as 45%, which means the right side of the box is set as 30 plus 45% from the left side, so 75% from the left. The same applies for the top and the height. Next, we will set the radial axis to a log scale. Double click to open the axis dialog. On the radial axis scale page, in the type drop down, select log 10. Since log 0 is an invalid value, we need to deselect the center at 0 checkbox when we change the radial axis type to log 10. Customize the graph further by setting the value of the major tick increments to 2 and the minor ticks count to 0. On the tick labels page, we're also going to set the display of the outer axes as scientific. Next, we're going to learn how to customize angular axis units. This workbook has X data and Julian date values displayed as days of the week. It's periodic, so we can use it as the angular values of a polar chart. The units are set in the column properties dialog box. You can open this by double clicking on the title row of the specific column you are customizing. This is the polar plot created from this data. Since the default angular unit is degree, the plot does not form a full circle, so let's change the angular unit. Double click to open the axis dialog. On the angular axis scale page, set the units as custom and then set the start value and end value as 0 and 7 for the 7 days of the week. To display the entire circle, set the display from and to values as 0 and 7 as well. Set the major tick increment as 1 so that there is one major tick for each day of the week. The plot appears as a full circle showing all the days of the week. This concludes our video. Thank you for watching. For more videos, please visit us at our website.